Hey guys, this is Mon Lee with yet another tutorial video and today I'll be teaching you how to record your own podcast on Cubase 5. But before I dive in, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video. So let's begin. We're taking a step back today. I haven't opened any project. So we're going to open a new project. This is a blank Cubase page. And I'll do that by clicking on file, first of all, file, new project, and then I'll select empty. Okay. So the next thing that I need to do is to create a project folder for my project, for the project that I'm about to record as the podcast. And so how do I do this? First of all, you notice that I already have a Cubase project folder okay under my documents and how i did that was i came i clicked documents and i clicked make new folder and then i created my cubase projects folder but since i already have that created i pressed enter and that's it but since i already have that created up here i will just click this folder and i'll create and i'll make a new folder under my cubase projects folder by clicking make new folder all right so i'm going to call this um podcast one and i press enter so that's the title or that's the file name or the folder name of this project and then i'll click ok so the very next thing i will do is i will save okay i will save Control s and then i'll just name it podcast one again and press enter great so this looks like something we should be familiar with from my other videos on Cubase 5. The first thing that I would do here, since I am not working with a proper song, I don't really need a tempo. This is a podcast. I don't need to sing or rap or talk on beat. So I'm just going to ignore the tempo here and I'll ignore all the bar settings and the grid settings. And I'll just come here as usual. I'll right click, add audio track. I'm going to add audio track and you can see the count i just need one audio track and i need mono okay and i will click okay all right so i'm going to name this track audio one by double clicking it i'll name it voice over and press enter okay usually on a podcast you have one or two vocals or one vocal and then an instrumental playing in the background so that's why i have only one track I will show you how to add your instrumental right after I um, I record the voiceover for the podcast. This is going to be a pre-recorded podcast as our most, I think. So I'm going to read something from my notes as a sample for the podcast. Okay, found it. We're going to record on this track voiceover. Okay, look at this red round um, button here. And when I hover my mouse over it i see record enable okay but it does not mean i can record yet until i click record down here on the transport panel this panel that i'm moving around is called the transport panel until i click record here i can't record so let's just test that out you can see that yes it started recording well i'm going to just undo ctrl z a shortcut for that is plus i think i've showed you this before will and intellect i think that god gives intellectual reasons for his laws there's some indication of this in jewish culture or history for example when god said in the law through moses that in the event that a woman's husband dies the brother of her husband should marry her and the reason for this is so that the widow will be catered to the problem i think is that we don't know all of the reasons because we haven't found them but this doesn't mean that the intellect guides but this doesn't mean that the intellect guides it but the intellect can motivate our will and the intellect represents or empowers our autonomy as members with god all right so that's pretty much it <clears throat> you will notice that um right i'm um, close to the end i made a little um error and i had to read that line over again um, so just take note of that. We are going to have to cut out that um, mistake and then kind of join everything together. So the next thing that we are going to do is to get an instrumental, okay, or a beat to put alongside these vocals, okay. And um, 
for those who don't know i also make beats i also have beats on beat stars for sale and i'm running a bonanza if you buy two beats you get one for free i have left a link in the description to my beats so that you can purchase your tracks today i'm going to be using one of those beats as a sample <clears throat> for this podcast that we're recording so let me go to the folder here street oasis what i'll do is i'll drag the the mp3 or the wav file i'll drag it down into cubase okay i'll just drag it and put it here you notice that it has it it shows up in the form of a wave okay right and it also opened a track for you like it opened a track for me automatically rather than having to right click and say add audio track so let's listen to what is going on here will and intellect i think that god gives intellectual reasons right so both of them are playing simultaneously but you notice that there there is competition between the vocal and the instrumental so we are going to have to fix that later on but first of all i'm just going to deal with the vocal aspect before i deal with the instrumental so how do i do that i want to focus on the vocal all i need to do is click s s stands for solo and m stands for mute so i either mute this or i solo this if i mute the instrumental only the voice will play will vice versa so i'm going to focus on this shift it in a little bit by clicking and dragging the next thing i'll do is i'll click uh, there is this line this marker yes click it and then i zoom in to zoom in on cubase 5 is h you, you can zoom in you know for quite a distance yeah so i'm just going to zoom in to say here and zooming out is g okay and then all i need to do is you see this square dot this tiny square dot at the bottom left of this wave i'll put my mouse there and you can see an arrow pointing back and forth i click the arrow or i click that dot and then i drag and then the next thing i'll do is i'll fade i always fade my wave you fade to give it a smooth entry okay so i'll click this blue dot this blue triangular dot at the top left corner of this wave and i drag it in great so i zoom out and um i think i'm going to listen to this that god gi- there's an i told you there's an error somewhere and i'm going i'm going to listen to find the error so that i can cut it out but this doesn't mean that the intellect guides but this doesn't mean that the intellect guides it yes great so this is the first one is the wrong one all i need to do is i'm just going to right click anywhere at all right click and then i hold right click and then i move my mouse over to the scissors to split right and then i release my mouse so you can see my mouse has turned into a pair of scissors and then i click what is highlighted okay all i need to do is you remember that white dot it appears at the edge of every wave so all i need to do is i drag this in to remove the part i don't want right the next thing i need to do now is to drag this so that it kind of joins the other part seamlessly okay i remember i zoom in and i fade i fade this part i fade this part and then i also come to the end i drag it in and i fade this that this last part here great so um let's listen to what it sounds like i'll take it to the beginning will and intellect i think that all right great um the instrumental is still competing with the vocals so i i need to just shift this um and it kind of starts late and the voice kind of starts late into the instrumental so i can i kind of like shift this closer to the beginning so it's like maybe three or four seconds before the vocals come in the very next thing i need to do is to make the instrumental go down just at the point when the vocals begin right and then i'll turn it back up when the vocals end so what i'm going to do is i'm coming to this second track because we are dealing with the instrumental okay and 
we will click you carry your mouse and bring it here to this arrow that shows show stroke hide automation i click the arrow it gives me what is called an automation track okay an automation track and the automation track controls the volume of this particular wave that's why it is under it it's under the wave the beat okay and how do i control it all i need to do is kind of like draw a line that represents a drop in the um, volume of the instrumental and a rise in the volume of the instrumental and bef and how i can do that is by clicking w w stands for write enable and r stands for read enable it means that whatever you do to this line it will kind of you can use your hands to write it or to draw it and then r makes makes it possible so that what you draw can be read okay that's why it's called read enable okay so i'll click w when you click w r comes on automatically the next thing i'll do is let me zoom in at this point the next thing i'll do is i'll create two dots on this line here this very line this very line i'll one dot here and the second dot all right and i can click this dot and drag the line down when i drag it down it means the volume is going down that's simply what it means all right so we're going to listen to what this sounds like will and intellect i think that god gives intellectual exactly so the instrumental goes down and then i need to draw another um, line that goes up at this point so that the instrumental can come back up in volume and then i'll let it play for like three seconds and then fade it out slowly i think you can imagine what the 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 graph would look like like a like a letter r i think so I'll, I'll put my my marker at this point and then i'll expand i'll um, zoom in i'll create two points again just at the end and then i will raise the volume i'll use the line to raise the volume to the top again and remember i said i'll let the instrumental play for like three seconds before i let it fade out completely so i created another point here and i'm going to create another point here to fade it out to the zeroth level or to the last level until you can't hear anything so you can see it looks like a like a pot or a pan or whatever just keep that in mind when you're creating your automation clip for instrumentals on your podcast and i want it to fade out slower so i'll drag this out more and then i will click only this last dot and drag it members with god this is actually really really perfect um so the next thing i would do is i would just drag this i don't need all of this at the end i'll just drag this to to where the fade drops to zero and just drop it somewhere here awesome okay so um the, I'm, I'm just going to show you one more thing there's a way you can increase the volume of a wave on a track i can see that the wave of this side is louder than this so i want to increase the volume all i need to do is click the wave and you see a blue dot at the center and i'll click it up to increase or click it down to reduce in this case i want to increase this one instead okay so i click this one and increase it click and drag up a little bit now the next thing i would do is if you on cubase you will notice like a region that is marked out in blue from the beginning this white triangle up at the top left to this other white triangle okay if i want to i want to be able to select um a region that only covers from the beginning of this beat to the very end so all i need to do is i select the beat and i press p you notice that the region has reduced has kind of come to the to right where this selected wave ended okay so that is how to record your own podcast on cubase 5 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe 
hit the bell icon so that you get notified when i put out a new video please check out the links in my description to purchase a beat that you could use for your podcast i have all those beats on beatstars and i'm running a promo you buy two beats and you get one for free occasionally i also put out a cappella split screen videos on my youtube page if you check at the top you should see a pop-up for my latest video so please check it out i'll see you next time peace